gentlemen. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to start and run a Ponzi scheme. Uh, there's a few important things you're going to want to do when starting a Ponzi scheme. You're going to want to build an impe impeccable reputation for yourself. Because if people don't trust you, then they're not going to listen to you. Um, you're going to want to get a good group of rich friends that have a lot of money. And then you're going to execute the actual Ponzi scheme. All right, so the first step and one of the most important steps you're going to need to do is build a good reputation for yourself. You need to come off as intelligent because people aren't going to listen to someone who isn't smart. You're going to need to come off as trustworthy because if people don't trust you, then they're not going to give you their money. And you need to be very charismatic to kind of pull this stuff off. Um, one good thing to do, if you want people to think you're trustworthy and humble, you need to be religious or at least make people think you're religious. Become a uh, start going to church. Make people think you're a devout uh, Christian, uh, Catholic, whatever you want to be. And you can also meet rich people at church. So um, again, building a Ponzi scheme is not for the faint of heart. So if you don't like ripping people off and uh, losing all your relationships, then I wouldn't recommend it. But um, yeah, the first thing you want to do is build a great reputation for yourself. Uh, have a nice house, a nice car, a nice trophy wife uh, or trophy husband, whatever it might be for you. And the second step is you're going to need to get some rich friends. Uh, find them at country clubs, church if you're going to church, uh, nice car dealerships, you know, in any place like that you can find some rich people and you're going to want to embed yourself in their little groups and become really close with them. Uh, buy their kids presents for Christmas, invite them over for dinner, take them out on your yacht, go out on their yacht. Um, whatever it is, but you, you need to really make them like you and build a good relationship with them so that they're going to trust you with their money. And the third step, which I will draw you a visual aid for, is going to be the execution of the pyramid scheme. So you're going to choose your three favorite friends, I guess, the three richest ones, or the three that are most likely to invest in you. And we'll just make little circles for them. And you're going to start off low, so you're going to say, all right, um, you're pretty much going to tell them, okay, you guys invest in me, I have this great idea, these uh, great investment strategies, whatever your Ponzi scheme thing is, and say it's going to give you big, uh, bigger than usual returns, so you should do it, and then you're going to use your trustworthiness and your charismatic ways to uh, get them to give you this money, and here's your, here's your wallet. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna say Johnny, Billy, and Timmy, they're gonna get, just start off low. Say, all right, you guys each give me $10,000. So now you have $30,000. All right, you're gonna pocket most of that. You got 20,000 in your wallet now. And you're gonna take the other 10,000 and invest it like you told them you would. So you're not really lying that bad. Um, <laughs> You know, so you're, you've invested 10000 and um, you have 20000 in your wallet. Now you're making money, you can start getting a nice car and stuff. And with the returns from the investments, you're going to give them what is a dividend. That's pretty much a percentage of the profits of the company that you're investing in that you get. Um, sometimes semi-annually or uh, quarterly. So you're going to give them their dividends and they're going to think that their stocks is, stock is doing well. Of course, the returns from this money isn't going to be enough to equal out to keep paying them, so you're gonna to have to start a second tier. All right. So say you get four friends this time, four, and you ask them each for twenty thousand dollars, and they're rich, so they give it to you, and they want to make money, so they give it to you. So that's eighty thousand dollars. Let's say you keep sixty thousand. Now you're making some big money, and uh, you invest twenty thousand, and then you've got money. You can start buying bigger stuff, and they're going to see that you're getting nicer things. So they think, "Oh, this is going good. He's making so much money." So they're going to go tell Billy, Bobby, Joey, all of their little friends, and you're going to start your third tier. And you can keep this going on for as long as, um, as long as you really want to. Bernie Madoff did it for I think like 60 years. Right. So he did pretty good. But uh, there are certain ways to make it last longer. There's going to be certain things that are made to come crashing down. Um, so if you, you need to keep your people from backing out because if they back out and take their investment take all their money Then you you have to come up with oh shit like I have to give him his ten thousand dollars like he's pulling out So then that's a big chunk out of your money You don't want to do that um, if they do want to do that because like if the market goes bad and like they're getting scared that the uh, stock market They're gonna lose their money and they want to draw out. So just try to keep them from doing that um, Don't take too much money because if you take too much and invest too much and you're gonna run out a lot quicker. Um, and when everything does go bad and the SEC comes knocking, I mean, you need to keep some offshore accounts run, 
Don't call your friends back if they call, you're gonna be screwed. So yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, in conclusion, you're gonna need to build an impactful rec reputation for yourself. You're gonna need to make some rich friends. You're gonna need to rip them off without them knowing.